Hello, I'm Sri from CBTQ. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CH Certification Program by EC Council. Module DOS DDoS Attacks Section Introduction DOS is denial of service. DOS attack is a cyber attack where the attacker makes a system or a resource unavailable to its intended users by temporarily or indefinitely disrupting the services of the host connected to the internet. DOS attack is accomplished by flooding the targeted machine or a resource with superfluous requests in an attempt to overload the systems and prevent the legitimate request from being fulfilled. DDoS is distributed denial of service. In DDoS attack, the incoming traffic flooding the victim originates from many different sources. This effectively makes it impossible to stop the attack simply by blocking a single source. A DOS or DDoS attack is similar to a group of people crowding the entry door or a gate to a shop or business, limiting the legitimate parties to enter the shop or a business, thus disrupting the normal operations. DOS attacks are often target financial sites, e-commerce sites for monetary gains. In simple terms, an attacker mounts an attack from a single host, it is DOS attack and if an attacker uses many systems to simultaneously launch attacks against remote host, this is DDoS attack. DOS attacks are characterized by an explicit attempt by attackers to prevent legitimate users of a service from using that service. General attack types are distributed DOS, application layer attacks, advanced persistent DOS, AP DOS, denial of service as a service. <laughs> like, uh, Anything as service, XS. Wide range of programs are used to launch DOS attacks. Different tools are available. Various techniques are application layer floods, degradation of service attacks, denial of service level 2, distributed DOS attack, DDoS extortion, HTTP post method DOS attack, ICMP flooding, NUC peer to peer attacks. We are going to detail these techniques in another session. Defensive responses to DOS attacks typically involve the use of combination of attack detection, traffic classification and response tools aiming to block traffic that they identify as illegitimate. Some of the defense techniques are application front-end hardware, application level key completion indicators KCI, black holing and sync holing. IPS based prevention, DDS based defense, firewalls, routers, switches, and also utilizing upstream filtering services from service providers. Compared to the other type of malware attacks, DDoS attack is clearly visible to the victim and its consumers as well. The United States Computer Emergency Readiness Team, that is US CERT, has identified symptoms of denial of service attack to include usually slow network performance in opening files or accessing websites, unavailability of a particular website, inability to access any website, sudden increase in the number of spam emails received. Additionally, other symptoms may include disconnection of a wireless or wired internet connection, long term denial of service to the web or any internet services. If the attack is conducted on sufficiently large scale, entire geographical regions of the internet connectivity can be compromised. An unintentional denial of service can occur when a system ends up being denied due to a sudden enormous spike in popularity and site visits. Some hot news, breaking news items can lead to rush of less prepared site and in some time it gets back to normal. One example being when Michael Jackson died in 2009, websites such as Google, Twitter, they slowed down and many other sites crashed. Routers also have been known to create unintentional DOS attacks due to overloaded NTP servers. Unintentional denial of service may also result from a pre-scheduled event, such as the declaration of great results of a college or a university website on a particular date and time. This may attract a lot of traffic overloading the servers. Many countries have laws under which DOS attacks are illegal. 
in the US, those attacks will be considered as federal crime under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, with penalties that may include years of imprisonment. In European countries, committing criminal DOS attacks lead to arrest and penalties. Thanks for watching.